And the winner is Volvo Tracks FH Electric. So there you have it. The Volvo FH Electric has become the first ever zero tailpipe emission truck to win International Truck of the Year. To be honest, it was only a matter of time, and this year, no less than four of the five trucks on the shortlist were battery powered. But why has the FH Electric won? Let's take a closer look at it. Volvo is the first truck manufacturer to offer a complete range of electric trucks, from the FL and the FE, through to the FM, FMX, and this, the FH. So far, they've sold 6,000 electric trucks to 42 different countries. Now, visually, it's almost identical to his diesel-powered sibling. One of the key differences being the badge. Notice also the grille is identical as well. And there's a reason for that. Electric trucks require plenty of cooling, and the cheapest and the easiest way to do that is using fresh air. Now this Globetrotter cab truck is a 4x2, but it's also available as a 6x2 and a 6x4. There's also numerous rigids to choose from. Now this one is powered by six 90 kilowatt hour batteries, which gives it a range of about 300 kilometers. You can specify three, four or five batteries as well, which obviously reduces the range, but on the positive side, increases your payload and reduces the purchase price as well. Now, these are lithium ion batteries, and the cells and the modules are actually built in South Korea, but then they're shipped to Volvo's new battery assembly plant in Ghent, Belgium, and that's where they're manufactured. Well, if you were expecting a big hole under the cab where the engine and gearbox used to be, well, think again. This is the module under cab, or MUC, as Volvo refers to it and it consists of, in this instance, three electric motors matched to the 12-speed iShift transmission. Now this generates 490 kilowatts of power, which is the equivalent of 666 horsepower. What else can I show you? Um, well, there's a header unit. That comes as a surprise to some people, but don't forget, electric trucks still need cooling. And um, these orange leads, what you need to know about these is don't touch them. They're 600 volts. And this is where you charge it, using either AC or DC. And when using a 250 kilowatt DC charger, it takes about two hours from flat to full. Or you can top it up from 30% to 80% in about an hour. Moving inside, the Volvo wanted a cab that your average driver felt instantly at home in, and they've succeeded. It's not shaped like Darth Vader's helmet. There's no central seating position. It's just like a diesel truck, which is a good thing. Now, what's it like to drive? Well, I, like a lot of you, was a critic of electric trucks, and then I got behind the wheel of some of them. And trust me, they are fantastic on the road. I mean, instant acceleration, imperceptible gear changes, almost complete silence at low speed. What's not to like? If you get the chance, I really recommend you getting behind the wheel of one of these. But we can't talk about electric trucks without mentioning the elephant in the room, or rather elephants in the cab. And the first of those is the charging infrastructure, or rather the lack of. Now Volvo Group has teamed up with rivals Daimler and Trayton and have vowed to build 1,700 chargers across Europe by 2027. But that's still a few years away and 1,700 won't touch the sides. What we need is government investment in a UK charging infrastructure. Without that, there's no way the UK is going to reach its self-imposed road to net zero targets. And then, of course, there's the price. Electric trucks do cost between two and a half and three times the price of an equivalent diesel truck. So they clearly aren't for everyone. But some UK operators are finding business cases for them. And in fact, Volvo has sold 200 electric trucks in the UK so far. And those early adopters are winning contracts on the back of them. 
So whatever you think about electric trucks, trust me, they're here to stay. And Volvo will be looking to add more International Truck of the Year trophies to its bulging trophy cabinet. <laughs>